Hey guys, it's Eric and today we're going to look at the brand new EVE motion sensor and light sensor with thread. That's right, EVE has updated their motion sensor to now have thread so it runs on the latest and greatest communication. But you will need a HomePod mini or one of the brand new Apple TVs with thread inside so it runs on thread rather than the old Bluetooth. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of things I love about it and some cons I do have with this. For full disclosure, they did send this out to me for a full honest review. First off, let's talk about the pros. I love that this communicates over a thread, which is fast and self-healing, where the old emotion sensor that was communicated over Bluetooth and that was slow and unreliable. I actually did a little performance test with the new motion sensor, comparing it to it like a Zigbee motion sensor, and it performed just as well. Now, I also love that they made it a little bit smaller than the old e-motion sensor and still added a additional light sensor in there. But to be honest, I still think it's still pretty big when you're comparing this to something like their core motion sensor, which is twice as small and it let the battery life last even longer. But their core motion sensor does require one of their hubs where the Eve thread motion sensor just works with the HomePod mini or Apple TV fit generation doesn't require a hub, which is awesome. What I also love about this motion sensor is that it's outdoor rated, has our water rating of IPX3, which is not that high on the water resistance scale. So this is not something that can be submerged in water and who knows if it can actually handle like a hurricane or anything like that. And I highly recommend that if you put this outside to have some type of covering, but Again, it is outdoor rated, so that's a, a big plus where a lot of other motion sensors there are not. So overall, I give this a two thumbs up. I love that this now has thread. I love that it has the additional light sensor that's exposed into your Apple Home app. And overall, a huge, huge plus. So I give it a two thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful. See you guys on the next one.